All right, everybody. So um, we actually have an, one of our Eastern Indigos who has um, been egg bound now for about a week to a week and a half. Um, which is no fun for any of you who have dealt with it before. Um, but today's video is going to be all about um, one of the ways that you can actually remove the eggs from the female. So we, about three days ago, we removed uh, four, I think, three eggs actually. And then she had already given two eggs prior to that. These are all slugs. None of them are fertile. Um, so we are now at about push in 40 days after her pre-lay shed. So she is not giving these eggs on her own. Um, you know, there's a couple different options. You can go to the vet, get them surgically removed. It's not typically a great option just because it can be expensive and it can cause potential damage to the female. Number two option is to uh, wait and just see if she puts, puts them out herself. That's not gonna happen at this point. And option three is going to the vet um, and getting oxytocin shots, which is the hormone that helps to stimulate the female to lay the eggs. We've tried this in the past um, with this type of snake. It didn't work. Um, it could work, but because this is what we're going to do now, which is remove them by hand, it's not super invasive, although it may look it. Um, we're going to try that and get the remaining eggs out. The only reason we didn't get those two, the last two eggs out a couple days ago was because they were much further up, but she has actually moved these eggs down inside of her, down to where her cloaca is, um, where they come out of, and so we are going to try and get them out. The tool that we're going to be using um, today, which has been thoroughly cleaned, is the little clamps that either um, you can get these from like a vet hospital, but these actually are from a fishing store. Um, it's really good to get your hook off the fish because it clamps down at the bottom. Um, so it's really, really heavy duty clamp. And now I can hold it like this and it's all tight and clamped up here. So the goal of today's video um, is we're going to put the snake, turn her around. She's actually really docile even because she's really tired. Um, I may have to put my finger inside of her to get to loosen up the egg a bit and then we're gonna find the egg, kind of squeeze it to get it close to the cloaca, use this tool, grab the egg. Luckily, these eggs are pretty sturdy. The outside you know, is a shell, but it's not like a, um, for those of you who haven't held a, a snake egg, it's not like a uh, chicken egg where it's really hard. It's actually more um, leathery feeling. So we're gonna latch onto the egg and then we're just gonna gently pull it out. That's the goal, so let's see how it goes. Okay. All right, so as you can see, this is swollen right here, and then it drops off right here. So we're looking at about what looks like two eggs left, and then looks like she got everything else out of her. So we are good after that. Um, this is her cloaca. This is where we're gonna try to get into to find these eggs, loosen them up a little bit. I tried it with gloves before. The problem is when you're inside, you need to make sure that you feel the egg which can get caught in like her ovarian ducts and all that stuff. So I need to feel, and you can't really feel with these gloves as well. So um, my hands have been washed and sanitized and I am going in. Okay, we gotta get in there. It actually does not hurt the snake. They loosen up just like um, they would be laying an egg. So I can feel this egg right here. It's not, we're just gonna get around it a little bit here. Try to loosen it. It feels good, it's rotating. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kinda squish it down a little bit and then I'm gonna open. Daniel, let's see, can you hold the tail? Just the, nope, just the tail there. Hold it this way. Gotta get the egg. There she is. Okay, now you're gonna hold the egg like before. You can let her tail go. Let her tail go? Yeah, it's okay, I got the tail. You just need to push the egg down a little bit. Gentle, 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 keep it right there. 
you can see the egg kind of coming out there already, hold it right there, do not move. So I'm gently gonna grab just the egg portion, no skin or anything else. And I'm extremely gently pulling right now. Okay, come over this way a little bit. I'm just getting top of the table. Gentle and here she comes. There is an egg. So that's a pretty good size egg there. She's got one more, it's going the wrong way. We gotta pull it back. See if we can hopefully get it to come back the other way. Let's use gravity a little bit. Can you push please? She's pushing, she's pushing, good girl. Okay, so we're getting that down there. Beautiful girl. I think we're about ready. Let's try. Can I go back in here? Try to loosen this one up a little bit. It's not there yet. So I'm all the way pinky in. Oh, I can feel the tip now there. Okay, so I'm but I'm in the wrong little spot. Let's find it. Come on, girl, keep it coming. So what I have noticed is it might be the case. Okay, now I've got it. Okay, hold on, keep her over here. It, it might be the case that this doing this over the course of multiple days is actually, uh-oh, is actually a, a good plan because she can move it down by herself. Okay. We got this one coming. Daniel, let's let's grab yeah. grab the she's trying to push it. Grab she's trying to push everything out right now. Grab the egg. Okay, here we go. Gotta make sure that the egg, there it is. Can you see right in there, Daniel? Give me a little bit more. Gentle and right there. You gotta clear all that stuff out. It's a little gross, <laughs> but the things we do for our animals. Okay, there's the egg. She's wincing it back in a little bit. We're gonna just grab the tip of the egg. Now remember, there's a lot of skin and other things. Uh-oh, this one might be a popper. Please don't pop on us. Okay, here we go. Lose gravity a little bit. Gentle. Right there, that's it. Give me a little bit more push on the egg. Gentle, keep it coming. Just keep it coming, gentle. A little bit more. And there she is. And that, my friends, is a wrap. You got yourself two eggs. The This one, they all, they all um, sadly, are infertile. Although this does look more like a fertile egg than this. So let me, uh, let's get this. We're gonna give her a bath. And here, bring her over here, please. Let me just check her. She looks She's good. Like no, nah, she, <laughs> she looks, she looks good. This doesn't feel like an egg. She just looks a little swollen mm -hmm. right now. But um, when I ran my fingers up like that on her earlier, she kind of sucked in so you could tell if there was an egg there. Um, this looks like we're all good. So officially we removed five eggs from this girl. Only one popped with this method and it popped outside as it was coming out. So there was no harm done on the inside. Um, you know, I've heard that this can happen and typically um, when it does happen, it happens when they're infertile. So. She is, I think, saying thank you to us. <laughs> She's much fe or feeling much better, I can only good assume. Good job, Pepper. So good girl, good girl, Peps. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave comments. Um, obviously, this is a, a little bit of a nasty uh, video. Um, I probably should, in the, maybe in the beginning, I'll say like, you know, warning, uh, maybe not for the eyes of children or the elderly. <laughs> um, anyways, thanks again for watching. See you next time.